Hey guys, this is Chris and I wanted to spend a few minutes with you on this Tuesday of Holy Week and, and look at a scripture from uh, Mark's Gospel, one that we may not be as completely familiar with. I know I had to spend some time studying it today and it's the story of Mary anointing Jesus with oil or the alabaster jar. So let's dig in and see what it says. We're going to look in Mark chapter 14 verses 1 through 11 and we're also going to reference John 12. So I hope you'll open your Bible and, and dig into this with me. Someone once said that worship is the act of sacrificially giving to Jesus something that is precious to us. What would that be for you? Think about that for a minute. What's something precious to you that you could sacrifice for Jesus? For the woman in our story that we're going to talk about today, it was an alabaster jar full of um, expensive oil or perfume. So let's let's look at her story. Mark doesn't mention the name of the woman in Mark's gospel, but John um, identifies her as Mary. And Mary is the sister of Martha and Lazarus. If you remember the story, um, Lazarus became ill and Mary and Martha called for Jesus. And before Jesus came, Lazarus died. And Jesus came to the house and won and raised Lazarus from the dead. So John says Martha was busy serving um, all the people that have gathered. And that Lazarus was sitting um, with Jesus. So now Jesus is the guest of honor at this gathering and as he sits there and eats, Mary comes in and enters a room with this alabaster jar full of this really expensive perfume and what you need to grab hold of was that this is crazy expensive. It would have brought in, been brought in from India and the oils um, in it were crazy expensive and so this would have been like more than a couple of years uh, salary or a couple years income that's how much this was worth and so it was customary when you had a guest in your home to wash the feet and anoint their head but and Mary did that as usual but she also went way above and beyond John says that she anointed Jesus's feet and wiped them with their hair and then she breaks the alabaster jar and pours all of its contents on Jesus's head that's from John 12 and immediately the disciples start to criticize her. They start ridiculing her and they claim that Mary's wasted this really expensive perfume and this oil, this ex expensive oil. And what she should have done is sold it and helped um, give money to the poor to help the poor out. Um, can you imagine how Mary was feeling? After pouring everything she had as an act of worship, um, she gets criticized by Jesus's closest followers, by the people that have been following Jesus and 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 sharing God's word, sharing the the gospel message. She gets criticized. I'm sure that her heart must have broken in a million pieces, just like that that jar that she had broken to pour out um, for Jesus. Um, but Jesus puts a stop to their criticism. He tells the disciples to leave her alone because she's done a really good thing. Um, he says that they can help the poor anytime, but that they um, are not going to have very many more opportunities to show their love for him in person. You see, Jesus had been telling the disciples um, that he's going to go to Jerusalem and be put to death. And now he claims that Mary's act of devotion was going to serve as the anointing for his death. They went through these rituals when people died. Um, of anointing their bodies with oil and this was us this was symbolic this was Mary's act of anointing Jesus's body before his death because see Jesus knew that he would be put to death as a criminal and that he would be buried without the proper ceremonial um, anointings if you will so Mary didn't realize that's what she was doing she was just pouring everything she had into into Jesus as an act of worship Mary couldn't keep the Jewish leaders from falsely accusing Jesus and she couldn't keep the soldiers from crucifying him or the crowds from mocking him. But she could show her love and devotion by sacrificing the most precious thing that she possessed. Look at the disciples. They were so busy complaining and ridiculing Mary that they didn't even see the act of worship that it really was. They didn't see this beautiful thing. Uh, Jesus said, if you look at the original Greek text, Jesus said that you have done a beautiful thing. And the disciples were so busy mocking her, that they didn't even see the beautiful act of worship that Mary had done. So I think about where our world is right now and how different this Holy Week is going to look from those in the past. Um, we're going to worship different. We're not going to be able to come to the church and do all the things that we normally do. 
Um, the services are going to look different. The Bible studies are going to look different. The prayer experience is going to look different. And so we might be tempted to step back and say, you know what, God, not this year. It's just too weird. Things are just off and I'm just not going to, I'm not going to give it all. Um, I'm not going to give it my all this year. Um, but I don't think that's what Jesus is calling us to do because Jesus was willing to give his all for us, wasn't he? Jesus was willing to, to hang on that cross for your sins and my sins. So are you willing to give your all to God this holy week? Are you willing to worship? Are you willing to spend time in prayer? Are you willing to sit in silence and meditate on, on all the things that have happened this holy week and the sacrifice that Jesus was willing to make for you? Are you willing to read your scriptures? Are you willing to dive in and and, and listen as, as God shares this beautiful story um, with you? This holy week, guys, though we may be tempted to step back and say it's just too different. I encourage you to, to dig in with everything you've got. Give God that act of worship. Give him that beautiful act of worship of, of giving him your time and giving him your heart this holy week. I encourage you to worship your God and focus on the fat sacrifice that was made on your behalf and that the role that you played in the story and give him your beautiful act of worship.